there. How you doing? I hope you're doing better than that turtle behind me. That's pretty stock. <laughs> so, we're here on Ark Survival Evolved on the Harbor Town SPG Patreon server. And as you can see, I finally got around to coloring our Jaboa, the one that uh, Scott presented us with. And now we're standing here outside town. Why? Well, I thought it's time we do a little server tour and have a look at all the things that happened. You can barely see um, the, the cliff over there with our coastal form. That's the word. Jeez. <laughs> words. It's evening. I don't have words. No words anymore. All right. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, for this endeavor, I have gone out and tamed East Clintwood. Yeah, we're bringing East Clintwood back. Look at that. He was a 580. And yeah, I said he. It's a he. I made sure it was a he. <laughs> uh, 520, 580. Yeah, 580. And uh, perfect tame. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> and leveled it up. So, let's go. Let's have a look. Shall we? So you come along the coastline over here. You get stuck on all the rocks. Mm-hmm. And then after a while, Harbor Town comes into view. Now let's load. All the things, please. Including stuck birds over there. And a ship. Yeah, look at that. I mean, this is pretty impressive, I think. When you come across, you know, you're riding across this island. And you come across something like this. It's like, oh, yeah, there's definitely somebody living over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, let's go. We definitely still need to do work. So there's light up there, but I think we do need lights down here and some sort of road going down there, maybe even a little bridge going across that part just to complete this. Yeah, it is a thing. Uh, obviously, there's no way you can ride around here, but if you come from the other side, you can see that gate over there. Over there. Um, there's also an entrance and... Um, Currently, there is a gate on the other side, which we're going to get to in a couple minutes. Um, but that is going to be part of uh, the city. We, we are still going to extend this. So, once, please. Should also switch off the builder's helmet overlay. Thank you. Let's get inside. Whee! And close this. You never know. Oh, wow. You never know what, what happens to come across here. Mm, nice. All right, we're here on the big old rock. Let's go to the right first. There we go. So over here is the harbor area, whenever it decides to load in completely. But before we go and visit there, we come over here, which is our coastal floor. That's one of the first things we built. The very first thing is the lighthouse over there, which we're going to get to once we get over to the other side. And you can already see there's another structure there, which we're gonna get to. Mm-hmm. So, this is... Oh yeah, this is auto open. This is uh, the coastal fort. Decoratively uh, speaking... Words. Decoratively speaking, we do have decorations in here, as you can clearly see. Not the most decorations. I mean, we can fill this up, no problem. Uh, we could probably put an S-plus gardener and sheep herder and all those around here, since they look like people and make this look really lively, but we do have to keep in mind that we're building a lot of structures in this area and there is such a thing as a sort of entity limit which you can have with a rendering distance and it tells you, well, you can't build anymore. So we're currently trying to keep it low profile. Stuff is here. I mean, the, look at that. Hmm, there's marks over here. That's already six pieces of entities. I mean, six walls? Fills a bigger area than six marks, right? So that's what we have to deal with. And when you look over here, in our dining area, <laughs> um, yeah, that's quite a few entities right here. That's more than like a 4x4 four four section, including wall and roof. So that is a, st a thing that you have to keep in mind throughout the whole tour. Let's get outside. Now uh, we have our walkway going all the way around with the roof on top, so when you're patrolling, out here uh, and it's raining then at least you are dry we can store our powder kegs over here 
four of the cannons. We have quite a few cannons over here. Mm -hmm. So whenever somebody decides to attack us, which is pretty futile to begin with, since the only entrance to this bay, which is what Harbor Town will be eventually, hello church, um, is... Ooh, ah, lag. Mm, come on. It's not that much. Well, it is. <laughs> That's about 600 volts over there. Um, is through here, right? So there is a coastal fort here. There is going to be a coastal fort over there, which we haven't built yet because, you know, we just built this like 40 episodes ago. Why would we already build another one? Hello! <laughs> well, you just, you know, stay there. You're good. <laughs> I think that's Eco's flyer. Uh, since we're using a lot of Eco's mods, Eco did a visit over here. That's one of the episodes we have on file. You just go through the playlist, it's in the description, and you can see all the things. Uh, if you find yourself liking this video, well, you know, drop a like, right? That's what you do. If you want to see more of this, you can subscribe. If you want to play on this server, head over to Patreon. All the details are there, as it is a Patreon server. So, well, that's the outside. We have an upstairs, which is uh, where everybody sleeps. Armor stands around. Yeah, looks good, right? Let's get outside here. We have one of these things. Uh, you can aim it. A mangonel. I'd say it's a catapult, but a catapult has a different firing arm mechanism thing. So yeah, it's a mangonel. Uh, we do have a trebuchet up there, which we're probably going to remove. Um, we're going to build a castle. That will be part of the castle structure, definitely. And then we have smaller cannons up here. They are a little bit elevated compared to those, so they have a little higher range. And obviously, since they're smaller, you can reload them faster and all this stuff. You don't need that many people. Um, th these are for close range uh, damage mostly, whereas those are for the massive damage, the alpha damage. One more over here. If the gunpowder fails, you can always throw rocks. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, lags again. The lag is a thing, but we definitely need. Uh, we are thinking about upgrading the server. Let's put it this way. All right. Let's get back on horsey, Clint. What? <laughs> it's East Clintwood, not Clint Eastwood. That's copyrighted. Wee hoo 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 hoo! I'm good at this. I shouldn't have bumped speed that much. Alright, then you come down here, that's the main road, and you immediately enter uh, the lower section of this building. This building is our distribution hub, so whenever the ships anchor in the harbor and things get. You should be patrolling. Oh well. And things get unloaded. As you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, it's going to be sent to the distribution hub, which we're going to get to in a second. Look at this beautiful harbor. Oh, that took a while to build. That was one of the first main things we built, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. We even got the, the, the pillars here, the piers. The, the... I don't know what you call those in English. I'm German. Screw it. <laughs> Coming up here, we have the harbor master's office. Thank you, with a teleporter. That's probably going to go eventually. Uh, we built this under the coastal floor because it's a nice spot here to build and we wanted something. And this makes sense. So you can view all the ships coming in, all the ships going out, you can keep track of them. Can, can I please? Thank you. And this is... Wow. <laughs> this is where the harbor master lives and does his job. Yeah, that's cool, right? You have your desk right here, you can catalog everything. Um, of all your necessary books for uh, duty forms and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Coming down, ooh, we have this little area over here. I still have no idea what this is. <laughs> it's probably high. I'm just you know, understand here. I live here now. Whoop. <laughs> it froze right there. Perfect. How about? Like that. Mm, yeah, it's PG. It's censored. You can see it. Um, th this is a little area with all the necessary uh, tools and equipment in case. Well, not for ship repairs. Ship repairs are over there. Um, for the minor stuff. You know, if there's stuff around the harbor needs to get done, this is where you would have your shop. Right. Okay. Let's come over here. 
Turn on. Ooh. I'm good at this. Don't worry. Really good at this. Now why aren't you patrolling? I don't know. We have a waypoint or patrol mod. And you can set waypoints and then set creatures to uh, start patrolling. And they just go around, circle around those waypoints. Uh, there should be some around here. Like there's, there's a green flag all the way over there in the distance. We, like this one. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> they, they should. They stop for some reason. Alright, so here's the distribution hub. Right here. We have a pup on the outside. That's still burning. Man, we started this in episode 5 or something. It's still burning. 50 episodes later almost. And the piano. Nice seating area. Your bar over here. Some storage up there. On the other side as well. It's necessary for the roofs to attach. We needed to have something there. So yeah, that works quite nicely. Mm-hmm. Make it out. Please. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, then you go up here. That's the actual distribution hub. You come in here. And all the stuff is standing around here. Pretty much everything we could find in the mods that makes sense. It's, you know, cluttered around here. That's stuff you find on ships. There's probably some ship getting outfitted. So there's some new cannons over here. The big ones over there. There's a baby T-Rex in here. Hello. Dangerous thing. And we have an upstairs, which is completely empty because we haven't done anything to it yet. But this upstairs does have access to an elevator. Yeah, it's working. Well, we don't need it because we can fly. Most of the time. Huh? Should I please land? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, on this side we have a little uh, shop type storeroom deal. Yeah. Don't really know what we use that for yet. It doesn't even really have a, a name or a designation for anything. Um, but it seems to be, you know, stuff that you need to outfit your ships. So this might just be all the things you need to have at close hand when you're preparing a new ship to get ready. You set everything up in here, all the things that need to have a roof. Um, so stuff doesn't spoil or, you know, otherwise get wet and things. That would be set up over there. First warehouse is over here. Have some guards in here. Mm -hmm. And this is where stuff gets moved out of the distribution hub. That is for quick loading, unloading. And this is the actual warehouse of the different companies. I think we even have a sign over here that has a name on it somewhere. It's open. Look at that. Acme. There's the other one. East India Trading Company. And uh, this one was built for easy access, you know, they have these ramps so you can roll barrels up and down or, you know, push carts up and whatnot and stairs um, to move when you're just carrying bags or something, you don't want the ramps. Yeah, look at this. Storage everywhere. This rock doesn't belong here. Uh, neither does that, we have to fix that. Uh, we had a map crash at some stage and then all the resources respawned. Uh, that needs to get fixed again. All right, all right, that's good. This is under construction. That is the biggest warehouse on the whole freaking server, as you can see. That's pretty big. Mm -hmm. I show you that when it's done. Not now, because it's not. There's still a wall missing over here. Don't watch that. Then we have this warehouse has its own elevator shaft right here. Where is where's the elevator platform? Ah. Sunken in the ground. Great. It's not much in here, but you can put heavy duty wares on the elevator, get them up here. Who came up with that idea? Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> and then there's more storage down here. That's the elevator control right there. Uh, boxes for moving stuff back and forth because we were building in this area quite heavily, so we needed that. And at some stage it will get decorated on the inside. It's more something to look at from the outside to see that it's here. It's built after uh, an old German style where the ground floor has a smaller footprint than the upper floor for tax reasons. That's what they did in the medieval uh, ages. Hello, Wyvern. And yeah, so we have two different kinds of warehouses over here with the, the big one in the back that will actually be on top of that plateau there as well. Oh yeah, that's a big thing. All right, let's go back to the harbor. You wait there for me, East Clintwood. Ooh, all the back. 
Uh, we have moorings for the moorings. That's the word. See, for the smaller type of boats. Um, for you know um, the the close outside town business, like fishing and stuff. And then over here we have our shipyard. Yeah, one of the first real big purposefully built uh, things that we did. Oh, oh, could you please let me? Thank you. I think. All right, shipyard. You come in here, have a nice reception area where somebody will sit and greet you. Hi, it's me. Perfect. Uh, planning area. Lovely pattern on the floor. Blueprints, all the stuff. So this is where ships get planned and, and made ready for voyages. And up here. Whoop. You shouldn't be in here. Go away. I want to get up here. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, up here is the storage area for when we are outfitting ships. Obviously, ships need stuff like, you know, in interior furniture and stuff like that. And you don't want that to get wet, so that's stored in here. A big old fireplace to keep the place warm and dry. Uh, a bed for the master of the shipyard to sleep here. There's an outside area, obviously, to this. With a big old gate, that's where the usual customer traffic comes in and out. Uh, you have the outside storage area, where your tools and construction material get stored, and all the stuff that you're actually putting into the ship. Right over there is the repair dock, or the outfitting dock. Whenever a ship is done, it gets moved over there. Oh, wow. You see that rubber bending? That's weird. And this is the actual shipyard. Yeah, right here. Uh, we have secondary docks over here for the smaller vessels, and this is for ye old big galleon. Mm. If you want to see this getting built, if you want to see the bigger tour, then you have to watch the actual episodes we did. For each of these buildings, we did episodes show. Click on the playlist link and enjoy. Woo! Let's come over here. Oh, wow! This is... Yeah, it needs to load the whole freaking wall over there. That's like 1,200 walls, the whole thing. It takes a while for the server to catch up. Do you have a shipyard with wings? Well, we do. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Over here is the market area, so as soon as you come into town and you pass below... This looks nice, especially at night. You pass below the distribution hub, you either get out here into uh, the warehouse area, uh, or you get out, you know, that way, where the shipyard is, and into the inner uh, parts of town. And around here you have the first market. This is basically your um, everything-needs-to-go market. So... Stuff that gets loaded into the distribution hub that needs to be sold right away because it spoils, like, you know, food, um, gets sold here. For the actual wares, we obviously do have stores. Well, they are planned and partially built. So that's a different district of town. Now, if you could please stop lagging. See, there's even a pen over there. So we have some sheep and some, some dodos nearby and a bigger pen area over here for our meat production because we do have a butcher over here somewhere. Uh, is it you? Yeah, see? Meat. Mmm, tasty, tasty. Alright, that's uh, this part of town. This is all decoration that we placed. I mean, this is something that can be picked up. And now you can go up here. And you get to the boarding house. If we ever get there. Yikes, I hate that. <laughs> this rubber bending. Building in this area has become quite a thing. That is the back part of the big warehouse, and this is uh, the boarding house. So for all the sailors and the dock workers, for those that are waiting to board their ships because they're getting made ready, uh, you have facilities over here. Oh, wow. Come on. Yeah, we, we need to upgrade the server. Or move it to a different host. It's a big kitchen over here that everybody can use. Look at that. Mm, yep. Not too much detail. Like I said, we do have in ugh, individual episodes for all of these. Uh, your big dining area, then you have a... Wow, that's the chandelier. Okay, then you have a recreational area. If I can ever get past the chandelier. Dang it. Over here. Mm -hmm. Some books, if, if those sailors can read. I don't know. Um, definitely some empty bottles. Somebody was here. Very nice. And you have your upstairs, because it's a boarding house. You do need living quarters, right? Each of these are pretty much alike. 
There's a bed, there's a wardrobe, that's it. Uh, if you need a chair, table or whatever, you can get one. That's not an issue. You can have a lovely window. Hmm. Mod list is also in the description of the video. In case you're wondering where these doors come from. Uh, there's the poopery. Yeah, that's a word. And obviously we do have some sort of washing facilities over here. Very nice. There is a second... Can I please get out? Close the door? Close the door? Yes, thank you. There's a second level to this. You come over here. And you can go up here. And these are the... Am I upstairs? No. <laughs> these are the slightly better apartments. No, they're actually, actually not. They're pretty much all the same. You have the, you know, slow grooves and things. So, mm, yeah. So if you need to crash somewhere, this is where you can do it. Very, very nice. Then you have a bridge going over to the second part of the house, and this is your storeroom. You can rent a chest over here to store your stuff while you're at sea. Um, something like that. And you have your shop, your workshop down here if you really need to pair stuff, if you need to fix your clothes or whatever. This is where you do it. A bit spartan, but it's a boarding house. You know, they don't give you many facilities for free. Probably you need to bring your own tools. At least it has a very nice garden, when, if we ever get there. Wow, this this is really getting bad. It's probably because I'm recording, because when I'm not recording it's not that bad. All of this is custom built, custom placed. There we go. <laughs> None of those rocks is a natural spawn. We've cleared out the area multiple times. Um, this This is all done by hand and really, really nice. And then over here... Yeah, this is one of the proud areas of uh, this district. This is the Merchant Quarters. You have a big old staircase over here. And we should probably take care of that rock there. Can I please? Not that rock, that rock. Thank you. That probably broke half of the things. Whew. Let me... Thank you. Now how often do I have to get up here before I'm actually up here? Let's see. Once. This is where the actual merchants live. Uh, not those for the little market down there, um, but those that actually run the warehouses, you know, the, the big bosses. You have a nice... Let me. You have a nice view from over here. Sort of. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's better than nothing. Better than the boarding house. And these have been... Op ugh, these have been obviously equipped with furniture and everything so this is your work desk you sit here you do your daily chores fill out your tax return forms <laughs> you have everything here that you need some of these rooms are still empty i mean this is going to be some sort of guest room probably this over here is the living room yup it's no tv wrong time frame uh, we have a kitchen over here yep it's outfitted there's room for more, like I said, we need to be very careful not placing too much. And then upstairs, upstairs, <laughs> uh, you have the big old bedroom, and the bathroom with a shower. It's actually a round crop plot, but you know, it's a shower, don't judge me. <laughs> and a balcony. And these are pretty much all equipped the same, they look a little different here and there. Uh, we've painted them. Some of the paint scheme is not yet quite right. As you can see by that green panel, that shouldn't be green. Uh, but mostly it looks really good. Mm -hmm. And it fills up this whole plateau area over here. There's really nothing otherwise you can do with this plateau. And we just wanted to see if we could actually make this happen. And it works. Uh, it's all started with, can we put a staircase in there? And yeah, we can. It actually looks quite nice. Still need to do something with that cave. Haven't decided yet what we're going to do. And then we have this big old wall over here that separates the merchant quarter from uh, the shopping district. That's what this is. Right over here we have the garrison, right next to the gate. Mm, makes sense, right? Ooh -hoo -hoo. Perfect. Go down here, somebody will be standing here. Disregard. What? Oh. Disregard the feeding trough. That's obviously here for a reason. Because creatures. Mm -hmm. And if you ever need help, you just come here and you ask the <laughs> portier who's standing here and he can help you. And then up here is the actual garrison. It's not an auto-oven. That's not... Mm. 
Reception area, dining facilities. Mm, that's tasty right there. Mm. Uh, we have the office of the, the garrison commander over here with a good view so you can see if his, his troops are actually patrolling or not. Well, there's a kitchen over here. I believe this kitchen actually has... Yup, it has a hidden section you can get under the stairs. And then, it's this one, right? Yup! Into the harbor master's office for a... The harbor master's? The garrison commander's office for a midnight snack. For the kitchen we went into a little more detail, because that needs to look good, right? Kitchen is always important. Can I get out? Thank you. It's not that important. And then we have the upstairs area. Mm -hmm. This still can use some decoration, but it's already set up for what we're trying to do here. There's the, the bedroom facilities over there, then there's the communal area. Uh, uh, storeroom, probably. This uh, was mostly built by one of my patrons. So again, if you want to participate, you know where to find it. And we have an upstairs here. Now this doesn't do much. Uh, but there is... There's one or that one. Right here. There is a hidden door here. And that leads you to the upstairs. To the outside. Uh, with your forge. So you can you know, work on your swords and, and stuff like that. And your maces. And you can get up on the roof. There's a tower over here. Which leads you back inside. All the things. Can I please? Ooh, wow. And that leads us to the next area, which is the ferry. Let's start the ferry from the outside, please. One of the things on this map that I find particularly annoying are these. They respawn no matter if there's uh, structures placed. I mean, stones and all of that doesn't respawn. Uh, rocks don't respawn. This stuff does respawn, and it's absolutely annoying. Um, yeah, see? Hmm. Right, this is uh, the uh, ferry area. You come in here with your horse-drawn card or whatever. If you're on foot, you go up here. If it ever... Yep, you go up here, and then you can buy your ticket for the ferry over here. Or over here. Again, some rocks we need to remove. And then you come over here. And you can board the ferry. We're just bouncing up and down. Perfect. If you exit the ferry, you can just take the quick route down here, and you're back on the dock area. The, the, the docking area, not the dock area, the dock is over there. And if you have a card or something, you know, if you have to pay duty, fees and taxes, you can come over here. That's the actual office for that, again, with a rock that nobody needs. Mm, yeah, well, it's just the way it is, right? We're not going to take the ferry, we're going to stay over here for a little while longer. Then you have the big restaurant, which still needs interior decorating a little, but the outside is pretty much done. Yeah, nice walkway all the way around. You have a lovely view on the fishing village and uh, the water itself, the bay area. Uh, you can sit here in the lovely weather. Oh, Ark, why do you do this to me? And then obviously there is an inside. I can't open the door. Now I can open the door. Perfect. Uh, which still needs tables and everything. There's a stage over here. There's a kitchen. Uh, there you go. Big restaurant kitchen. Wow. Big restaurant kitchen. As it needs to be, right? One way in, one way out. And then this... Well, it's yeah, it's a stage area. It can be used for performances or you have your uh, private high-class... Dining area over here, and the middle classes can sit around here. There's a door over here. I didn't even notice. So there's... The, I have to crouch there. It's probably the stairs. Uh, there's another way out. Cool. Staircase. Yeah. And from here, you get to the currently outside wall. But going that way will be slums and other things. Soon. And you can also come over here to the fishing village. This is one of the largest builds in terms of decoration. All of these trees are custom placed. All of the bamboo, the mangroves, even the, the coral. It's down in there. It lights up at night. All the things. And you can actually walk along here for a while. It is quite big. Now it's not the most expensive material. It's all wood. It's a little run down as you can see. But they do have... Mostly tables, chairs, sleeping area of some sort. Some even do have a cooking station of sorts. Not all of them, 
uh, outside plant pots and things like that. Planters in the windows, yeah. And as always, there's one guy who runs the place, you know, the main fisherman or whatever, and he has his house over here, which looks a little different. Uh, there is an open shower here because he lives alone or with his wife, so nobody really cares. Food on the table, yeah, good kitchen, really good kitchen over here. And obviously an upstairs, which is a little bit of a bedroom, living room, office type of deal. You have a nice view. You have your balcony over here. Mm, nice, I like that. And you can see all of the bay. You can see all your fishermen going in and out. You have your private parking spot for your boat. It actually has a sail. Most of the others don't. Well, all of the others don't because it's custom placed. Ha ha ha. Thank you. Who left his fish over here? Seriously, that's rude. I mean... Other people are hungry. You just leave your fish over here. Yeah, this is a fishing village. Uh, even that big tree over there is custom placed. Haha. <laughs> See, you didn't even notice all the rubber bending and the lag because I was talking about this thing. <laughs> Alright. What else? Uh, since we're back here, hopefully, I mean, you never know where rubber bending places us. We have the cafe, which is the cafe at the pond. Uh, this this part over here will probably become a stage for musical events where some elevator, <laughs> elevator music will be playing and then you can sit around the cafe area here. This is a natural water puddle that we have just enclosed. There's some fishes in there and uh, we try to get some more otters. We had an otter in here swimming around using the waypoint mod, just you know doing his circles. Um, that died of starvation because we didn't have that feeding trough over there. That's an S plus feeding trough that has all of this in range. Um, we neglected that a little bit. Or we had it there but we didn't have fish meat in it. I think that was the issue. So we're gonna get some more orders and put them in here. That's what people will watch when they sit here and have their cafe. There's a big old pavillon over there. Or pagoda or whatever you would call that. I don't know. What are you? Pergola. Alright, sure, why not? Um, with big fireplace, so you can have barbecues here at some events, or you can have a, you know, your wedding uh, party sits up here, where everybody else sits down there. Something like that. Alright. Over here, since this is where the money is made, this district and the one next to it, we have a Ye Olde Bank. It says it right there on the sign. If it ever comes into view... And stops reflecting. There. Bang. See? Yeah. Very nice. Has an outside garden with its own T-Rex. Mm-hmm. And then you can come in here as a customer. We even have the red carpet for everybody here. That's really, really nice. And then you can stand here and say, Good morning. Can I have my money, please? And they say, Nope, you don't have any. Heavy duty doors over here. For the employees to be secure. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Obviously, it has two sides. Mm -hmm. We have the treasure room over here with guards. Yeah. Close? No? Okay. Well, screw you. So you come in, have to sign in, and then you can get to your uh, <laughs> loot box. Uh, it has an upstairs, obviously. Ugh. Oh, wow. Please don't. It has an upstairs. This is where all the work gets done. All the desks. And the managers are sitting here. And the bank manager is sitting over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We spent quite some time on this. <laughs> um, there is even more than this upstairs. There's a storeroom over here. If we ever. Thank you. And this storeroom has a roof up access. Thank you. So there's a lot of storage space up here for a variety of things, mostly pigeons. Because then you come out here and this is where Pigeon Central is located. Uh, well, this is where you can send your... Well, Harry Potter would say, this is where you can send your owls. <laughs> right. It's not much else to see, I mean... Except for that guy, which is part of a mod. Uh... How many Teros do we have? Tell me. 675. 
Okay, that's a lot. That's what that one is for. It keeps population under control. Ragnarok, this map spawns like 600 wyverns if you're not careful, and this one just keeps it in check under 50. Very, very nice. Might cause a little bit of the lag, but then again, not that much. It, it runs like every five minutes and keeps that controlled. Okay, let's, let's get back out here if we can. Thank you. Are we down? Are we ready? Cool. Uh, we do have a little secret area in here as well. That's what you have these doors for, right? There you go. This is our cellar. Now this is where the shady stuff gets stored. And for the real shady stuff, like if you need to torture somebody, you go down there. Yeah. Well, it's not for torture. No. Who would do that? This is for keeping somebody in hiding for whatever reasons. You know, as long as they pay for it, it's a bank. As long as they pay for it, they can do that. Let's get back out. Well, Thank you. And then over here is where the actual merchants will be. This is Merchant uh, Central. Oh, wow. Let me, let me, let me. No, I'm not pressing any buttons. <laughs> there you go. Kibble and bits. Well, it's Kibble and bits, as you can see. Uh, Dr. Harry C. Beaver. It's obviously a doctor's office of some sort. Mm -hmm. That's the other entrance. What? Stop making noise. It's rude. Uh, dying to meet you. <laughs> All the pun. <laughs> paper cuts books. Yeah, paper cuts books are the best books. Believe me. And there's more. I'm not going to show them all to you. Go and watch on the episode if you're interested. Oh, wow. Some outside sitting area over there. And we're probably going to extend this a little bit more. We still have room over here. Quite a bit, actually. And we're going to continue working on this. And then there's pretty much not much left on this side, except for the walls. Let's have a quick look at them, because I, I just don't want to fly around and just load in walls for the next 20 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. There we go. Mm, looking quite nice. It's the same design all the way around. Uh, we have cannons over here. We actually also have some real turrets, which are currently switched off, because they're causing lag. Um, that makes sure that nothing bad enters our territory while we're building. Some of the turrets are working, like you can see dead stuff over there. You probably can see dead stuff down here if we get close enough, because on this side, where the wall isn't done yet, we have some turrets as well. Um, as you can see, that door, as you cannot see because lag, that, that big old gate right there is mostly open because we need to get in and out here for, you know, working. Over here is our fruit farm. Apple trees, pear trees, all that stuff. Aptly named Da Fruits. Yeah. Uh, with a long road going through. In and out. So this would continue off in the distance. We'll see if we build any more over here. We haven't decided yet. And then over here. Ooh, fruits everywhere. We have your row of trees. Yeah, this is where you get the good stuff. This is then transported down to a market. Um, there, little little gamma up here. This one is being prepped for transport to market. There's more in here. As you can see, these... Ooh, I know, there's a lot of stuff to load. Uh, these should be nicely aligned against that wall, but probably something broke in here and needed to be annihilated. That's good. Five bears. The five bears live here. Look at that. Mm, I would want to live here. That's cool. It's cozy. The bedroom that hasn't been decorated yet much. And then you can get back outside on your um, patio, balcony type area and enjoy the view of the fruits of your labor here. Even has a windmill. Look at that. It is quite a big farm. I mean, there's. I think we have 120 trees in here, so that should be good. But it's not going anywhere yet. This is the area that we still have to build. There's probably going to be the slums over here, and then over there, uh, where that big rocky bridge type thing is, that's where the big castle is going to be. And um, we still need middle class and high class housing. 
There's going to be stuff down here, which I'm not going to get into yet. But we've also started building over here. We already have a, a big old church, which is currently trying to load in. Oh, come on. Whee! Thank you very much. Well, let's have it load for a while. 600 volts. <laughs> Ceilings and roofs and all the things. Oh, thank you. That looks better. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you can already see what this looks like. Nice big windows, some towers, obviously a decorative stuff around the outside. Uh, we have some artifacts in there, shining light. These are natural rocks. We just leave them there because they are not in the way. There's another bird in there, it seems. Oh yeah, very nice. And this is where you come in. Get your shoes off, because, you know, it's, it's a mosque. <laughs> Probably not, but who cares. And then you have your high-class seating over here, right at the altar, with Scarecrow Jesus. Yup. This is where the priest would be standing. Have you been good this year? So you shall come and take this bread off of my hands because it tastes yucky. Exactly. Um, still need to put in some more benches and stuff, but you know, I think it looks decent. It you know conveys the message. This ooh, this is a church. Yep, definitely is. Mm, I still like this view. At night, the whole place lights up quite severely. So <laughs> that also looks quite impressive, especially. With your big old tower in the middle. Can we make it? Yeah. Very nice. Uh, looks like we made it on top in one go. That doesn't happen that often. Uh, that should be a bell, but we don't have a bell, so we just put a chandelier up there. That works as well. It's quite cool. <laughs> and you do have access, <clears throat> roof access. You have your balcony up here, so you can... Preach into the morning, or whatever you want to do. Uh, you do have regular access, you don't need a jetpack for that, because, you know, in, in medieval Venice or so, people wouldn't have a jetpack necessarily. Uh, but it is a lot of spiral staircases, and that does work. But with the leg we're having, you know, you usually get yourself killed when you try it. So, <laughs> I'm going to do that. And then we get into the lovely area. From here on out will be high class... Housing over there is middle class. There will be the castle, probably. So right in the middle here, we have our bathhouse. Yeah, look at that. The newest thing Eco managed to put into the game, into the mods, is placeable water floors. So we immediately set out to build a bathhouse. Now I'm not going to go through this in much detail because that's pretty much the most recent episodes we've done. Uh, three of them uh, to teach you how the, the water tiles work and to show you how we put this together and decorated it. So you go and watch that if you're interested. I'm just going to go and do a quick walk through here. Or sauna area over here or steam bath or whatever you want to call it. Mm. Lovely fountain. Sitting area with uh, the bonfire. Big old tree. Even the monkey over here, yeah, mm, he looks not amused. Okay, that's just the way he is. Don't judge him. I mean, if you were standing in that corner all the time, you couldn't get into the pool. Speaking of which, mm, yup, pool. Uh, water treading area over here, get in one side, go around once, get out the other side. Um, we still need bubbles for the whirlpools, jacuzzi. Eco, make it happen. <laughs> And yeah, that's our bathhouse. And then, finally, last thing we've done. Last three episodes, I think. El Casa del Scripta. This is my little villa right over here. Ooh, which is where we're going to end this tour. Uh, I'm just going to go upstairs into uh, the party room. Hello. Welcome to my crib. Should I show you around? Well, if you want to see this villa... Like I said, that's the most recent episode we've done, so just one back in the playlist. You go, and you have a, a good look. I'm just going to sit here, try to look at you, because camera is weird today, and I'm going to say goodbye. 
Thanks very much for watching. That was the server tour 1.0, and we're gonna do another one whenever we feel necessary. Now we need to get back to building. Also, Arc Aberration release date has been confirmed for, I think it's in two weeks? So we will hop over there and do some aberration and probably take a break from all this building we've been doing for a week or two, and then we're gonna mix up the episodes whenever we get to a stage where uh, Arc Aberration is just fun and not anything new to report anymore, but just, you know, playing the game and having fun. And then we get over here to building. Yeah. That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. See you soon. Look it out. It's my house. <laughs>